like to introduce you to some basic colored pencil skills. This is a set of 24 Prismacolor Premier colored pencils, which I really like. They're very easy to work with. I'll be working with a canary yellow and an indigo blue, a true blue, a crimson red, a poppy red, a white, and a black. I will be creating some boxes just to show you how many different values you can get with just one colored pencil. Here I'm using the indigo blue and with the first box I'm going to use quite a bit of pressure to create a nice deep dark color. And then in the next box, I will just ease up just a bit on the pressure to create a lighter version of the indigo. I'm using a colorless blender by Prismacolor here to just blend in the color I've already put down. With each box, I am letting up on the pressure to create a lighter value in every box. I wanted to give you an example of what the colorless blender can do because I do think that it offers a dramatic difference, but it certainly isn't necessary. You will notice that in the corner I wiped off my blender. You can also sharpen it with the Prismacolor sharpener. I recommend that because the pencils for Prismacolor are a little bit temperamental. I'm using the crimson red and then putting the canary yellow over just to show you how you can mix colors. And look at there, I created orange. And I'm using the Prismacolor sharpener to get off the color off the blender, which also works. Now I'm going to use the canary yellow first and then put the crimson red on top and you can see the dramatic difference between the two just by switching out the colors. Now I'm going to use the same technique with the true blue and the canary yellow to create green and then of course I'm going to switch them and you can see how different that color is. I'm labeling these so that I can refer back to them which I highly recommend for creating a color chart. Now I have my indigo blue and my crimson red and I'm putting white over the top to create a tint of a violet and I'm mixing two colors the true blue and the canary yellow together with some white to show another way to blend although I think I used the blending stick as well. I used to use just the white to blend. Now two grays, a black and a white and a white and a black and those also look just a little bit different to create different shades of gray. Last thing I'm going to do is just create some fun colors together, mulberry and an orange and a pink and a canary yellow to create a sunset color. Now that you have some idea of what colored pencils can do, I hope you'll check them out. They are a lot of fun. Thanks for stopping by. See you next time.